Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night, depending on where you are in the world. This is Azil's Gaming. I'm, of course, Azil, and this is what's wrong with Fishers. So, as you all may know, guys, I am a big fan of Relics. I'm a big fan of Fishers. I'm a big fan of Primes and Farming. Um, and over the course of the last year, year and a half, I have noticed that there is a glaring problem with the fishers and that is the selection of the fisher missions themselves um this problem is not a huge massive major one as such but it does cause me to not play um play the fishers as much as i'd like to they it does put me off um the issue that i've got with them is that they are too random. The the, uh, the RNG aspect of the Fisher missions is not a good one because you can end up not getting a mission that you may want to play and that will put you off from cracking a relic. Like there, there have been times where I've gone actual hours of not doing just that. Um, I feel it could be very easily rectified by having um, one of each mission type available at all times uh how you segment that is completely up to you you could have two or three per relic type and they could rotate out um i feel that that would be a very fair way of doing it um so basically you could have them in a set order and at the end of the timer they would essentially go down on a scroll if that makes sense so the two at the bottom would go to the top and then everything would move down one and it would do that quite consecutively every hour or so. So if you wanted to jump on and do a survival, you could. If you wanted to jump on and do a defense, you could. Um, it would just enable you to have a lot more freedom and feel like you would have more choice. Um, you would also pretty much be able to guarantee that you know when you will be able to do a axi mission or a um, neo mission depending on what type of mission you want you know that in that certain amount of time right it's been an hour it's going to move down one i know that i can do this mission type in that time frame um i feel that that would just give the player a lot more control and um it would enable them to play what they want when they want, how they want, um, as opposed to it being completely dictated by what missions are randomly selected from the menu. Um, the other issue is that there are just not enough mission types as a whole. The game has grown, it has developed, it has evolved, and as such there are now more and more mission types that you can do, and I feel that they should be made into fishers as well. One that I've been advocating for and trying to get um, as a Fisher mission now for a long time is the Salvage Mission on Eris. I feel like it's a very fun mission, but outside of getting Nidus, there is very little reason for me to play it unless I'm helping somebody else get Nidus. Um, which is a shame because the rewards you get on it are actually pretty good. Um... And I feel like if it was a Fisher mission, I would probably play it a lot more. Uh, it's one of my favorite missions in the entire star chart. It's fairly quick per round. It's very fast paced. It's very, very enjoyable. And if I could crack Fisher's open as well, um, it would just give me more reason to do that. As well as the fact that newer players would find the grind for Nidus a lot less harsh you know if they're getting relics open and they're, they're getting primed rewards at the same time then essentially it just re it, it doesn't reduce the grind itself but it reduces the feeling of that grind it reduces that feeling of oh my god i'm 20 runs in when if you're staying for longer to get the booster and everything rewards it doesn't feel that way because you are you know you're in control you are the one that's doing it um so yeah, that's that's basically my ideas. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Do not forget to check out my Twitch. I will put the links in the description. 
Um, but yeah, thank you very much for watching, guys. And I shall see you all next time. Ciao, ciao.